Hey everybody, uh, so I just wanted to make this quick video uh, kind of as an overview of some of the benefits of vitamin C, otherwise known as ascorbic acid. So vitamin C is probably one of the vitamins that comes to mind first when you think of a vitamin. It's one of the most uh, common household name vitamins out there really. Um, so vitamin C is commonly known as uh, the basic vitamin that you would want to take if you want to prevent becoming sick or uh, catching the flu, uh, you know. So it's actually a lot more than just uh, a preventative for for colds. I mean, it actually, yes, it does um, stimulate your immune system and strengthen your immune system, <clears throat> but it's also um, the basis of, uh, it's one of the precursors that you have to have um, before you can create collagen which is actually the most, uh, the most common uh, protein that your body creates. So collagen is used uh, to create skin, which is the number one organ in the human body. Uh, also, even internal um, flesh, like the lining of your intestine, that's made uh, mostly with collagen as well. Um, so vitamin C, actually, um, I mean, it's kind of considered an antioxidant, but it's um, fundamentally a regenerative molecule. Because when you take vitamin C um, in like doses of around uh, one gram or so, um, you're literally going to be um, boosting a regeneration of your immune system, but also a regeneration of your uh, digestive system and uh, the organs throughout your entire body, really. So vitamin C actually taken in large doses of like five to 10 grams at once can actually cause kind of um, a detoxification effect where it speeds up the movement of the bowels and uh, helps release from your intestines some of the um, some of the material that may be, may be still backed up in the colon. Um, and so you kind of do want to be cautious of taking too much because, um, you know, that can cause a diarrhea effect, but that's only, you know, usually at least... 10 grams or more, um, but it's actually impossible to get the recommended one gram per day um, from food alone. So it is recommended that most people do supplement occasionally, at least with vitamin C. Um, based on scientific research, human beings actually used to be able to produce vitamin C endogenously in our body. Um, and those genes have mostly um, just dropped out because um, to conserve energy, we no longer uh, have those genes activated. So vitamin C has to be gained through uh, diet as well as supplementation if you want to perform at your optimal um, at your optimal level of performance. So vitamin C, um, is interesting because it actually is the basis for recycling um, the antioxidant system in your body. So in your body, you have a master antioxidant, and that's called glutathione. And your body does create this molecule. Um, so um, glutathione is called a master antioxidant. So it actually is able to donate or accept free electrons from free radicals, which are mostly created through uh, metabolism in the mitochondria. And when you when you ingest foods or you expose your skin to sunlight, um, there's basically an increase in electron potential um, across the membrane. So there's a, a there's a gradient. Okay. So um, I mean, when you expose yourself to infrared light, whether through one of those infrared bathroom lights or when you're outside exposed to the sunshine, you actually increase the efficiency of your mitochondria. Um, so it's pretty interesting that you can stimulate your, your energy powerhouses with light alone, but um, that's literally what you can do. Um, so vitamin C regenerates this molecule, glut glutathione, so that when glutathione donates or accepts a free electron, um, it can go back into that higher energy state of being able to um, basically balance out the, the system. One of the reasons why people commonly get sick, um, like during the fall time before winter or in the springtime with the allergies and everything, is because during these seasonal changes, um, the body actually has to adapt, you know, 
all of its systems to this different environmental condition that we uh, are, you know, moving into. So when there's different levels of sunlight and different amounts of thermal energy available in the environment, um, it actually changes, you know, how we use food and how our entire me metabolism is functioning. So you have to use these antioxidants and all kinds of thousands of chemicals to actually adapt to these changes. So molecules are technically really like energy signatures, like they hold an energetic state. And based on their shape, they actually can kind of plug into various receptor sites uh, if they're a signaling molecule um, or, you know, if they're like vitamin C, they're generally a precursor in a reaction, a process of creating new materials, uh, new, new molecules in the body. So you want this vitamin C so that you can actually recycle your glutathione stores and be more adaptable. That way you're less um, likely to get sick and you're actually able to regenerate at a faster rate. Um, so there is actually some studies showing that vitamin C can reduce your risk of like colectoral cancer, basically internal cancers of the digestive tract. Um, vitamin C improves um, your skin tone and just basically makes your skin shine a lot more. Um, vitamin C um, has a lot of uses. Um, Basically, it can, it can provide clearer mental energy or a clearer sense of mind. Um, it's, it's basically able to help regenerate all your cells. So vitamin C status is important for avoiding like major colds, but it's also important for actually continually going through the process of maintaining the human body and of regenerating the human body. Without adequate vitamin C, your body can't adequately recycle and regenerate itself. So there are common sources um, in the foods that we eat where we can get vitamin C. Um, okay, so there's a lot of um, sources of vitamin C that we know about in foods that we eat. Um, the obvious one that we know about is oranges, but you can actually get more vitamin C through green peppers than you can through oranges. You can also get vitamin C sourced from red peppers, also kale, broccoli, and even strawberries. So there's actually a lot of ways you can get um, high amounts of vitamin C. Those are all um, foods which have high amounts of vitamin C comparable to oranges. So... Like I said, um, you can get, you know, your vitamin C through your food, and you should get vitamin C through food, but you can't actually get optimal levels of vitamin C through food alone. So, you know, if you really want to make the investment in your health, you have to go, um, you know, through the so-called supplementation. And that, and and this is exactly why I sort of have a problem with the word supplementation because supplement technically means that that you're kind of offsetting. Um, something and that like the supplement is kind of what's filling in the gaps and honestly I mean uh, as depleted as some of the soils are these days and um, with the uh, just the way that people are eating or the people uh, the way that people have eaten in the past um, you know when they were younger or whatnot like people uh, are not always starting with the cleanest slate right so um, you definitely want to probably get vitamin C, uh, supplementally. Um, and, uh, there's actually a lot of different compounds of vitamin C that you can supplement with, and they're not all created equal. Um, so a lot of these, I mean, they, uh, um, a lot of these that they sell at the grocery store are going to be a lower quality. Um, generally for the higher quality vitamins, it seems that, you know, you tend to have to, purchase them online um so because you know people that are online they probably already did their research anyway if they're getting it online whereas if you get something in the store it's like well it's i'm there it's there i'll just pick this up now but um online people generally at least do a little more reading there so um usually you know make sure that it's a good quality but um 
you're generally not going to find that higher quality in the, in the, in the grocery store. Um, you can often also get a, a better price online. Um, so anyway, one of the best kinds of vitamin C is actually called a lipospheric vitamin C. And the way this lipospheric vitamin C is created is they take vitamin C, otherwise known as ascorbic acid, and they actually put this in with some healthy fats called phospholipid fats. And then they, uh, they mix it together using basically this machine that's also used for uh, cleaning jewelry. Um, and it vibrates at a very high frequency. And this causes the, uh, the fats and the vitamin C to mix. And more than mixing, it actually, um, the way fats work is they, uh, they stick together. Um, and these phospholipid bilayers, they form these tiny little uh, microscopic spheres. Um, just like your cells are a sphere. Uh, we, we think of a cell as a circle, but it's really a sphere, okay? And um, this vitamin C gets encapsulated in this phospholipid bilayer, this healthy kind of fat, and that allows the vitamin C to get past um, your stomach acid without being destroyed completely. So um, it's, it's a designer kind of supplement where it's, it's really designed to you know, emulate the pattern of nature, because in the pattern of nature, you know, you're, go you're going to be consuming your vitamins from a plant cell or an animal cell. Generally, you're going to be getting vitamin C from an animal cell. You know, if you take a bite of that broccoli, you know, it's the billions of little broccoli cells, and it's um, encapsulated inside of those broccoli cells, so it can get past uh, stomach acid. So that's why they designed it this way. So if you want to pick up um, the best kind of vitamin C, you know that the best kind of vitamin C is going to be the one that you can absorb the best. And that's the kind that's encapsulated in these lipids. So um, the kind I recommend is by a company called Live On Labs. And it's just called Lipospheric Vitamin C. So it comes in actually these little packets of um, one gram um, vitamin C gel. It's like it's in like a gel form, and you just basically squeeze this packet into a glass of water, stir it up, and you know it tastes just mildly sweet. There's not really a lot of flavor to it, but um, you take that, and it's um, pretty fascinating um, the effects that you can get from it. You know, it's n nothing magical, but like you know, vitamin C, you know, really is actually um, pretty beneficial for the human body.